I much rather God send send another person a text message about something that he wants to talk about than rather put it on Twitter. And I think a lot of guys don't understand that. You know, everybody sees what you say. You know what I mean? Especially if your account's wide open, where you can have anybody look at it. So. Uh, I think God's gotten smarter about it, though. But is that kind of, and Jimbo even said this too, it's not really fair because you guys can't be kids. I mean, everybody else in college isn't held to the same right. standard as kids are. Right, well, I mean, I think we stopped being kids when we signed a letter of intent, whatever school we were. This is a business, you know, bar none. I mean, it's not pro, but, you know, it's definitely serious. You know, this is taken seriously by everybody. So, uh, you know, what you say does matter. And, you know, if you do say something that you wish you could get back, you can't. You know what I mean? You have to be careful what you say publicly. Now that you guys are going to be more in the, obviously, the limelight this year, your magnifying glass can even be more, will you make more of an effort now that you're the quarterback to interact more, especially with the guys maybe a little borderline on some Yeah, well I think uh, we're all on the same level where we're, we're such good friends that we don't mind telling each other about, you know, if we feel like they need to tighten up here or do something better, you know, something smarter, make a better decision. You know, and guys will adhere to it. Guys aren't going to you know, necessarily bite back about it. So I think uh, you know, we'll make better decisions. Obviously, if Coach Richard feels the need to cut off the Twitter, then that's what we'll do. Yeah. Now, when you first signed Florida State's barely above a 500 team, Jimbo's in as the offensive coordinator. Obviously, you saw something. You put a lot of faith in him. Right. You were, like you mentioned, you were recruited by everybody. Obviously, some of that seems to be coming to fruition. What was it that you just recognized from Jimbo way back then that made you come here? Uh, I think the best thing to say about that is Jimbo was an honest person. You know, he, he told me straight up, up front that uh, you know he's gonna yell at me, say he's gonna you know say whatever he wants to me. You know what I mean? And I, and I respect that. A lot of coaches kind of made it seem like it's gonna be a fairy tale land. And you're gonna get there, it's gonna be easy and it's gonna be fun and all that kind of stuff. But it's not. You know, once you get out there on the field, it, it's a war zone. And Coach Fisher told me that from day one. You know, he said uh, he's gonna recruit me, and the next year he's gonna try to get the number one guy. And the following next year he's gonna do the same thing. Great competition. That's what I respect him about. I remember was he head coach in waiting when you signed? Was that right before? I think so. Yes, sir. He was. And that kind of plan that he knew that he's gonna. Be here. Yeah, yeah. Coach yeah. Or retire. Right, exactly. Well, sooner, sorry, sooner or later he would end up being the head coach. I knew that. So, you know, having basically the head coach and waiting recruiting me, you know, went a long way for me, knowing that he would take care of me. And I guess you're not the least bit surprised that he's had this quick success. Not at all. Uh, coach Fisher is going to be successful one way or the other. If you're not helping him be successful, he'll get somebody else to do it. So, you know, he's going to put people out there on the, on the game field that's going to get it done. And that's what I like most about him. That's what I would do if I was a coach. So, you know, I respect that. How about Coker just came in? You got to see a little bit of him and some of the player girls. How, yeah. what, what's he jump out at? Yeah, Jake's first off a great person. Uh, he, he has great size. I think he's bigger than I was when I first got wow. there in, in college. So he's about 6'5", 225, and he has an arm. You know, he has a gun. Uh, once he learns the offense, he's going to be great for us. And, uh, you know, his future is wide open. He has a very bright future ahead of him. He's pretty athletic, too, because I think he was like all yeah. state in baseball. Right, and basketball, and basketball as well. So I haven't really seen him run. Uh, but, you know, Coach Craig tells me he's very athletic. And, you know, I can just tell by the way he drops that he has some athleticism about him. Not only starting this year, but it's just exciting seeing him in top five, top ten. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good feeling, man. I mean, just seeing that kind of go back on top, finally getting some recognition, some good respect, some good public, you know, good pub instead of bad stuff. You know, because there's always been good stuff going on at FSU. I think people are just starting to realize that and uh, not only talking about the bad thing. DJ, you uh, technically are a new starting quarterback. Do you feel like a new starting quarterback? Do you feel like a veteran given the, the experience that you have had in big games? I'm not going to say a veteran. I've never you know, gone through a whole season. It's totally different from where you're just stepping in, playing one game, then you might sit the next week. You don't know. But when you're in there for 14, 13 games straight, it's a lot different. So you know, I make sure I got my body right and then you know, be able to take those blows and take it week in and week out. But you're 2-0 in bowl games. You've played in the ACC championship game. You've played significant games. Right. How much does that help you moving in, whereas, say, Bryn Renner at UNC or Mike like Glenn at, at, at NC State yeah. won't have that. Yeah, to, I talked to, to Mike earlier this morning. But, uh, yeah, it, it's a great deal of confidence for me knowing that I can go out there and do it. You know, it's not going to be a, a huge shock or a huge eye-opener for me. Obviously, we're going to embrace it and enjoy it every time you go out there and play. But I know I can do it. I know what to expect. So, you, you, you talk to Mike Glenn often? Yeah, yes, sir. Mike's one of my good friends. Really? How do you yeah. guys know each other? Uh, just being from Virginia. Uh, when I would go to, like, Maryland, like, 10th grade, I remember seeing him with his parents. And, you know, his brother Sean Glenn was at Virginia Tech. So, uh, you know, so you, Mike's a good guy. You text him or you, you, you call him? Call, or? whatever. Yeah, call, text, all that. So, how confident is he? I mean, because like, this is his opportunity. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to speak to Mike, but I think Mike's going to do a great job. Mike's a good person. And, and actually, the, the, the well. two of you have a little bit of similarity in that you're replacing Christian Ponder, who was the number one pick out of the ACC, the first guy picked for the ACC. Right. They, he's you know, replacing, you know, the whole thing with Russell. Yeah, Russell. So, I mean, do, do you kind of talk about those kind of things? Yeah, uh, you know, main thing is we're both excited, you know, and then we finally have a chance to like, be the 
they got, you know, the full-time starter. Uh, you know, I was kind of, Mike was kind of in the same situation I was, you know, sitting behind somebody and not really getting a chance to play because Russell never went down. But, uh, you know, Mike's going to do a good job. After last year, how cool would it be as a quarterback to be the guy who brings FSU back to a championship level? Yeah, it'd be nice. Uh, but I know that I won't, it won't just be me that does it. That does happen. I know I got a great supporting cast around me. And just as much as it's, you know, everybody looking at me being a guy just because I'm a quarterback, it, it's not going to be a whole lot because you know, I have great team. I guess you, you really don't need to do it by yourself. Your running game is pretty good. Your offense flat. I think it's more starts than anybody in the league. Exactly. So yeah. You're in a pretty you good got, situation. I got all the pieces. That's why I say you know, it's a perfect time to come in and be the starter. You know, I, 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 I'm, I'm excited. I'm very excited. Yeah, I think he can. Uh, Brandon has obviously gotten a lot bigger. His body's gotten a lot bigger, so I mean, uh, that's going to even make it easier for him to really get around the tackles that aren't as athletic as he is. Guys, extremely quick off the line. You know, we do a lot of dummy counts in the practice, but you know, he has to jump on the tackles all the time. So, you know, BJ might have an incredible year. Uh, 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 we got Everett Dawkins, got uh, John Warner, St. Carradine, Dan Hicks, all of those stuff. We have athletes everywhere. That's the thing about our team is that we're deaf. So if somebody does go down, we'll have somebody that's not good for the spot. Yeah. And I think that creates even more competition for us, knowing that if you're not getting it done, uh, you know, somebody will replace you. And I think that brings the competition level up to a higher level. We have a lot of talent. Yeah, I think a lot of guys, it all comes down to character. You know what's right, you know what's wrong. Which one do you look at as You know, just by making good decisions, go down and make a bad decision, you have to take the repercussions of that. So, you know, it depends on the personality level. They lost one of their first time, you know, it's right to make that good decision. He said, Sweet Swapper said he wasn't in favor of playing players necessarily, but he did think they needed to look at more scholarships big enough. Do they need to have more expensive things like that? Yeah, sure. Do you sense guys either struggling to make it many times? Yeah, I mean, it's tough because I've been there and it's $3 left in my account and things like that. But, you know, you realize that you're getting free education, so kids that you're in class with are paying for school. You know what I mean? And I'm sure it's hard for them. They have to work. And we don't really have the time to work, so. You know, it's kind of those things that it's tough to think about, it's tough to figure out. But, uh, you know, I've definitely been there where it's sometimes very hard to get to the free. But still, you want to take somebody out to a movie or a violin and get a shirt or something like that. So, I think it's just about being smart with money. That's probably the main reason why they don't pay us. Because some guys will go out and buy a great seat. Can you talk about James Wilder? Is he as good as he's had? Uh, I don't personally know yet because we, we haven't practiced or anything yet. But I, mean, I think he, he's very mature. I think he has the uh, ability. Does that make any real difference to you? Are you tearing up the court by one way or another? Is there any different approach based on it? Yeah, yeah, space. Oh, yeah. You guys, you guys kept a I, I kept a relationship with Corey uh, from Miami. Uh, when I did see Sean, you know, it, it was nothing but love for him. He came and shook his hand and things like that. So you know, Sean's had a great year. He had a great, fantastic freshman year. And uh, I'm sure he's going to be expecting to have a good year this year, too. How much did you talk to Corey? I just talked to Corey about two, well, 15 minutes ago. He texted me uh, just to you know, see how my weekend was going so far. And, uh, I saw him again at that man and thing. So that's kind of what we kindled our relationship and our friendship and stuff like that. So, Funny guy, man. It's a good person. I love that guy. Is it perfectly to you already do? Or he was a senior. He came in with, you know, that whole Northwestern group came in with so much, so much, you know, much hype after, you know, back to back state and all that. Well, he has a healthy starting. I mean, is that, I mean, I know you're worried about your situation. Yeah. Is it kind of unusual to think about that? Going yeah, that's right tough. I mean, but I think Ja'Cory, you know, Ja'Cory knows the situation a lot better than I do. So, obviously, he's going to go out there and control what he can control. And, you know, I saw him work out the man and thing. He looked good. So, I think, uh, you know, his, him already having experience, I think that'll work out best for him. And I'm sure you've discussed this several times today, and I apologize, but you guys are being picked by everybody, pretty much. You know, that, mean, that means all eyes on you. Do you welcome that, or how do you try to shield yourself? Yeah, well, I welcome it, but 
I also shield myself from it because I don't read any of that stuff. I don't watch. Honestly, I don't watch college game day. Uh, you know, if I, if I see it coming on TV, I turn. You know, and it's not because I don't like it. It's just the fact that I don't want to be. I don't want my mind clouded. You know, I like my mind to be nice and open and be free and you know get information from people that know what they're talking about. You know what I mean? Not just people that have speculation. So you know, I rather hear from my coaches about how good I am rather than somebody. Else. Thank you. Uh, since my junior year in high school, I have a little article that's been about me since then. Uh, and just, I don't know, I just think it's one of those things you don't you shouldn't read it when it's good and you know, not when it's bad. So I just don't read it all. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I personally do not think about all that stuff, but I feel like everything will take care of itself if you go out there and play with it. Same I don't really worry about me playing good and somebody saying, oh, I'm preparing the person. I don't, I don't, you know, like I said, I don't read that stuff. So I, don't, I never hear about it anyway. Uh, you know, so that's, you know, those are people's opinions and they're, so that's, that's their opinion.